Good evening everyone, it's the 3rd of the 12th, 2012 at approximately 9.30pm. Okay, HSC Amy um, put into admin group something about the Emerald Radar extending an arm out, which prompted me to have a look at what she was raving on about. Uh, what I discovered was one of the most impressive outflow boundaries I have seen this season. Um, what is an outflow boundary? An outflow boundary is a storm scale or mesoscale boundary, wind boundary, separating thunderstorm cool, cooled air outflow from the surrounding air, similar in effect to a cold front with a passage marked by a wind shift and usually a drop in temperature. Outflow boundaries may persist for 24 hours or more after the thunderstorms that generated them dissipate and they may travel hundreds of kilometres um, in their area or from their area of origin. These thunderstorms often develop along outflow boundaries, or new thunderstorms, sorry, develop along these outflow boundaries, especially near the point of intersection of another boundary, cold front, dry line, or, you know, warm northerlies coming in and feeding into it if the, uh, if the boundary or the wind gust is coming from the west. I've seen this occur out in the western Darling Downs numerous times where I've chased storms at Surratt, and then the storms jump 100 k's to Dolby, and this is the outflow boundary and, and which creates new storms well ahead of the original storms. Okay, so that's the explanation. I'll now go on um, and show you. This is the Emerald Doppler radar, and you'll see this section here, back at, right there. See it break away and push to the northwest? That's on the actual radar image, and that's what Amy was talking about. What is that thing there? All right. Emerald Doppler radar has a wind observation as well. You'll see the thunderstorms, this is winds, start down in the bottom section of the, of the screen down here where I'm circling, and you'll see the orange shading that extends right up to the north, northwest and east. That's the boundary pushing out. Um, you can also see wind streamlines here coming in from the, the southwest in behind it. Very, very impressive outflow boundary. So people up here in Terry or Capella or Claremont, it hasn't just reaching Claremont now, will all of a sudden have got this very strong wind gust from the southwest, um, and possibly with with quite a low level cloud following with it. Okay, so what happened at Emerald? All right, it was sitting on thirty degrees <clears throat> at eight o'clock. There was an eighty-one kilometre an hour wind gust from the southwest as this boundary moved through. It then dropped off to about 50 kilometres an hour gusts, but the temperature went from 30 down to 22. All right, so that's an indication of, of the cold outflow boundary generated by thunderstorms. Here it is again for one last time. The outflow boundary pushing up there in the orange shading indicated by Doppler wind speeds at about the 80 kilometre an hour mark. And here are the thunderstorms that generated that outflow boundary down here. Nothing much to them, not big, strong, severe storms. However, there was a, a wind change or a wind gust in behind them as well, and you'll see on the wind streamlines changed to red. So there you go, a little bit of education for you. See ya.